So who are the top ranked cryptocurrency Forex account managers? They're gonna help you make money online. This is a total clickbait video. The title was complete clickbait. If you are out there searching for an account manager for crypto or Forex, please stop. Realize you are begging to get scammed. If somebody messages you in and they wanna be an account manager, they are a scam artist, stay away. I'm getting sick and tired of hearing about all these, I mean, it's sad, it's sad. And I get it when you're a beginner to the markets and you're new and just getting started. And when you don't know what you don't know, well then you don't really know that this account management stuff is total nonsense. And I'm getting, like I said, sick and tired of hearing these sad stories of people that are getting totally taken advantage of and scammed over where they lose their money and it's just gone. And that money that they could have used to actually trade or invest into learning, it's just gone because they thought some sort of account manager was gonna do wonderful things with their money. And that's just not how this works. And this isn't really for uh, you viewers from the USA. Um, at least from what I can tell, this seems to be more of a, a foreign issue. So I don't know if this is some sort of international thing that I don't quite have a full understanding of, but I always hear it from foreigners and, and people from other countries about all this account management stuff. Don't listen to it, okay? I'm telling you right now, it is a scam, all right? And if these people were as good at, you know, if they, if they were as good as what they claim to be, I assure you, let's apply some common sense. Let's let's do some critical thinking here. So I can, if, if I need to convince you a little bit more, if this person was so good at their trading, at making money just grow, why would they spend any time at all trying to get your money? Why would they not just use their own money and make it grow? That would eliminate a huge hassle of them having to try to sales pitch you to give them your money, right? That just doesn't make any sense. If they're so good at it, why aren't they just using their own money, okay? Right, that's just a very basic principle to do that. It's just, yeah, time of use, path of least resistance. Who wants to have to deal with the headaches of trying to convince people to send somebody money if they're supposedly already so good at it? Well, Clay, that way, no, just if you're trying to justify any of this, then I guess you're just gonna get scammed. But when you get scammed, all I ask is just remember that you watch this video and, and I try to give you a little bit of a warning. Now, hopefully for the majority of you, you, you're saying, Clay, why am I even still watching this? I know those account managers, especially when it comes to cryptocurrency and Forex, they're just scams. Well, good, then I don't have to worry about you. But like I said, been doing this, been in the business now since 2013 and I have lost count. I was thinking about, should I just post like a bunch, fill the screen with a bunch of these horror stories? But I don't, I don't wanna out people for, cause I mean, it's a, it can be embarrassing, so I'm not gonna do that. But um, just be aware, be careful that somebody that wants to, you know, proclaims they're an account manager or anything like that, and it has to do with Forex or Bitcoin, don't follow. Now here in the USA, yes, there are financial advisors. In fact, probably 99% of the American population uses a financial advisor. My parents use a financial advisor, right? They pay somebody a small fee to manage their investments and all of that. And that's very different. These people are not reaching out saying, hey, do you give me a hundred bucks and I'm gonna go trade crypto or I'm gonna go trade Forex and I'm gonna give you some crazy number. No, they're, they're just financial advisors. And at the core, they're all registered. Here in America, and I, I think in most countries, let me put it this way. No matter what country you're in, if somebody wants to be an account manager, press them, okay? What, what's, what's your broker ID? What's, get some sort of license number for, from them so that you can go and cross-check them with some sort of database, whatever country that may be. But if they're legit, if they're supposed to be part of some sort of regulated body, then they should have no problem at all giving you this information so that you can, well, go verify that they are actually some sort of professional. But I would venture to say that 9.99 times out of 10, they're either gonna put you on ignore, they're gonna stop listening, or they're gonna come up with some sort of excuse on why they can't give you, well, that information's private. No, no, it's not private. That's the whole idea of being licensed and registered is that so people can go and check and make sure that, well, you are licensed and registered. So don't fall for any of those stupid excuses like, oh, well, it's private, I don't, no, just, Get that, if, if you don't believe me and you wanna listen to more and you want, just at least get that because that's, in America at least, if you want somebody to manage your money, if, assuming it's not through one of the big banks, uh, then you know all these people are gonna have their, their, their licensure numbers and you can take that to, you know uh, I don't even know what site it would be in the United States, maybe the SEC or FINRA or something like that and you can cross check that. And uh, does anybody know in the United States, if you want to 
uh, check out somebody as far as if they're a licensed broker or if they're a financial advisor or whatever. I mean, I know for sure mortgage brokers, stuff like that, they all need to have their, their license numbers. What it's like, would that actually be? If somebody could leave that in the comment section, that'd be appreciated. But yes, I have no problem, no shame in bidding. This was a total clickbait video. But if you clicked on it because you were looking for some sort of account manager, hopefully I've uh, convinced you to just, you gotta learn how to do this stuff on your own. You gotta learn to think for yourself. I get it, letting somebody else trade for you, that is the path of least resistance. That sounds great, especially when these people are telling you great numbers. But unfortunately, that's just not how the markets actually work. So be aware of it and don't get scammed. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.